Hey, this is Professor Triplett, and we are going to look at a texture deformer uh, on a plane in this tutorial. So let's go ahead and just make a plane, and you want to have a lot of subdivisions in it uh, so you can get a nice smooth surface. And we're going to go ahead and just go into our deformers, which is right here. You can click on this if you want, and we're just looking for a texture. So I'm going to make sure mine's reset to the default settings, which it looks like it is. So I'm gonna hit apply and let's hit close. And now I can close this and I'm gonna need my attribute editor. So control A for my attribute editor. And I wanna be in my texture deformer tab right here. And I can go ahead and drop a texture in here. Um, and the way this works is anything that's uh, white in my texture or has a high value um, above like 50% gray will come off of the surface and anything that's below 50% gray will uh, basically recede into the surface. So let's just show you instead of telling you. So I'm gonna go ahead and just grab, um, you can grab any of these kind of noises, but let's go ahead and just grab the normal noise. And you can see what's happening here is that, um, so there's some dark areas and those are depressing down. And then the white areas are staying on top. And let's go ahead and just, See what happens if we, like if I mess with the amplitude and you know, you can, you can play around with these noises uh, until the cows come home and you'll get all kinds of different, uh, different things coming out. But basically the idea is, is, you know, you can make like lumpy surfaces, terrain, um, you know, and just alter whatever it is you're working on. Like right, right here, you can see this kind of can be uh, some hills or something. Um, you can morph it over time if you need to. Um, you can change the frequency, higher, lower type of thing. And let's see here, implode. This is kind of interesting. Implode will kind of, let's actually up the frequencies a little bit first. And then implode kind of pulls it towards the center. So that's kind of interesting. And uh, I'm going to select this and hit three on my keyboard. So that's going to put a uh, smooth uh, preview on, so it looks a little bit smoother. If I hit one, that's how you reverse it by hitting one. Uh, but you just hit three to uh, to go ahead and see it at a smoother uh, subdivision. So okay, so um, it's it's pretty interesting. You know, you can drop anything you want into here. Uh, if you want to get really savvy with it, you could go into your hypershade and actually composite like different textures together. Um, or just like even go into Photoshop and paint something or in ZBrush and actually sculpt something and bring a displacement map in here and put it on there and you can start, uh, you know, getting terrain right here inside of Maya. Um, there's actually some tools out there that are really made for terrain, like Houdini has a really good terrain tool and there's this, uh, there's this program called World Machine and World Machine is basically, that's all it is, it's made for doing terrains. Uh, and it's it's uh, pretty cool. I've seen a lot of cool stuff out of it. Um, but this is just a way you can kind of get that the same kind of idea started in Maya. And uh, that's all I want to show for this one. So let's move on to the uh, the project.